in Srimad Bhagavatam, first it has been written that he was Devaki Sutta. And also Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj has written that he was burnt from the home of Devaki and from the Vasudev. And he was adopted son of Huh? <laughs> of Nanda Baba. But he has admitted also other places. Nakharu Gopika Nanda no Bhavan. Gopi is not telling. Are you not the son of Jasoda? Yes, you are. But since you are not, because you are so cruel. Also, uh, Nanda King Akrodh Brahman. After that, no, no Sukhapo. Sukhapo Bhagavan Devina Gopika Sutta. Thus, that is written and Sukhdeva Swami is thing. This Krishna, Supreme Lord, is not, it, he cannot be received very easily. I am Gopikasutta Krishna. Gopikasutta means Jasuda. For Gyani and Jogi and others. They can. Nandastu Atma Jutpanne Jatrada Maham. Nandastu Atma Jav. Atma means Atma Vajjayati. Here especially. So they go Swami had openly oh, written this. Hmm? Because Krishna is partly as a Narayan, he is son of Devaki. And fully in all colours, Brajandanandan hmm? Sham Sundarati Sudananda. Fully he is. Hmm? After this, Krishna in childhood, when he was only six days, he killed Putana with not thousand or sixty thousand elephants power. She came to give Krishna poison from his first. Krishna took him and shocked with poison and his life also and became very restless and told, Oh, give up, give up, give up. So thousands and thousands of elephants, she could not. And Krishna being a child, a small of six, he was on the breast of Putana and she became a very big demon about Six or twelve miles. She wanted to go to Kansa. But Krishna, oh, from here you cannot go. And then she died. After that, Krishna in childhood also killed Sakatasur and Tilavar. Being a child, Bhaman Dev went to Balivara to cheat him, to take his all kingdom. And he wanted three feet to stay land. But when he began to uh, measure three feet, then he became Three Vikram, oh, from a sky to this, and in two feet he oh, covered whole world, and there was nothing. Then Bali Maharaj gave himself that I am giving, and thus Bali Maharaj conquered him. But he became so long. When this Prithi in Pralaya Bali, in Devastation. 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 Devastation.
this land prithvi was in water parade a very big and took up on it thank you in the, this way ramchandra killed ravan in a big fall but krishna did all these three past times as was was covered there was big as was but it was covered with oh fine mathur mathur jo so krishna is unlimited master of aswarja and mathur but in braj always aswarja is covered with mathur he lifted govardhan a pas any man cannot do it never it can he killed all these demons a man cannot do it. so krishna is himself supreme lord but in this praja he had done all past times not in a big form but being a child this is his especiality and how krishna was in the hand go outside no inner self no upper side no lower side no no dimensions and dimensions here nothing he is unlimited unlimited but mother jashoda by love and affection he by basalar he binded prem prayojan can speak in very short form Mother did not come. Why she was in the another room and churning 
the yogurt and remembering the pastimes of Krishna, chanting the names of Krishna. Govinda Dahavo Dharamadaveti Govinda Dahavo Dharamadaveti Govinda Dahavo Dharamadaveti Govinda Dahavo Dharamadaveti Krishna is always attracted by Kirtan. So he came to get off the bed, but it was he's very small and the bed is high. So it was difficult, he had to climb down backwards on his stomach. He dropped down from the bed, and quite naked and weeping, he began to stumble out of the room looking for his mother. And he was crying, Maya! Like uh, we hear Sudarshan playing on harmonium. Krishna was crying, Maya, 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 Maya! Louder and louder. <laughs> but she could not hear him because he was completely absorbed in kirtan and remembering the sweetness and pastimes of Sri Krishna. So Sri Krishna came out from the room, rubbing his eyes and tears running down his face and onto his belly, washing the kajal from his eyes. So tears were coming like Ganga and Jamuna, white like the Ganges coming from the eye where he rubbed off the kajal, and black like the Jamuna, where the tears were mixing with kajal and running down his face. And Madhya Shoda was churning the butter, where she looked so beautiful. Her waist was very narrow, hips very wide, wearing very, very fine silk sari. And Sri Krishna came up to her, and he put one hand on the churning stick, and one hand on Madhya Shoda's veil. And when he took her veil, then she looked and saw, that the sun she was remembering, thinking about, was there in front of her. So she took Krishna into her lap and began to give Krishna her breast milk. At that moment, bhakti into bhakti rasa. Why? Milk was flowing. For ordinary people, they have sattvic baths, tears flowing, body trembling, hair standing on end. Madhishoda has all these sattvic baths, but another sattvic bath also, milk, that's her praying, flowing from her breast. So, all sattvic bhavs were mixed with vibhav, anubhav, yabhachari bhav, and it, bhakti became bhakti rasa. So just then, as Sri Krishna was taking the breast milk of Madhya Shoda, and she was joyly, joyfully looking at his face, the milk that was being boiled on the fire was thinking to himself, Oh, Krishna's belly is unlimited. All the millions of universes exist in the belly of Sri Krishna. And at the same time, the breast milk of Madhya Shoda, it's not breast milk, this is Vatsalya Prem. Her Prem is unlimited. So if his belly is unlimited and her Prem is unlimited, then this Krishna's drinking of her breast milk, it will go on forever. And I, the cow's milk, I have no chance to do any seva. So without any chance for seva, no need to be alive. So the milk was jumping over into the fire. But seeing this, Madhya Shoda thought, I should save the milk. Because from my breast milk, I cannot make yogurt, butter, paneer, and there's so many types of sweets. So I should save this milk to make many preparations for Sri Krishna. So Madhya Shoda went to put Sri Krishna down. Now when Putana said to Krishna, Oh child, leave me! She could not put him down. And Krishna was only, had the breast of Putana in his mouth. He was not holding with his hands or legs because he was only six days old. But now he's older, he's two and a half. And he was holding onto Madhya Shoda like a monkey, both arms, both legs, and with his mouth, as hard as he could. But Madhya Shoda, even though Putana has the strength of 60,000 elephants, and Madhya Shoda is, oh, seems like an ordinary covered girl. But with one hand, with the left hand, she just took Krishna and, oh, and put him down, and went to take care of, sprinkle some water on the milk and stop it from boiling over. At that time, Sri Krishna, he was very angry. He was. He felt that he was not fully satisfied by drinking this milk yet. He wanted more, but Madhya Shoda put him down. So she, he thought, oh, what mischief can I do? So then he took a pestle and he approached the big pot of yogurt that she had been churning. Now if you break the top of the, of the pot, then the pot will break. But if you make a hole in the bottom, then what will happen? It will spray out all across the kitchen. So Chris is very intelligent. He took the pestle and broke a hole 
in the bottom, bottom of that clay pot. And Krishna very, was delighted to see the yogurt spray all over the kitchen floor and make a terrible mess there. Krishna was very happy. But then the next moment he realized, uh-oh, if my mother sees this, then she'll punish me. So Krishna, Krishna thought, it's time to leave the scene of the crime. So he began to sneak away, but he's only two and a half. So he didn't realize that if he'll sneak away through the yogurt, then he'll leave a trail of yogurt footprints <laughs> leading all the way to his hiding place. So Krishna, who is the Atvaya Gyan Paratattva, the embodiment of all knowledge, now as a two and a half year old child, he did not know that he should have walked around the yogurt. So walking through the yogurt, leaving the footprints to the next room, Krishna made his getaway. After some time, Madhya Shoda came back and saw, oh, what happened? The pot is broken, yogurt is everywhere. And then she saw some small baby footprints. Hmm? And thought, oh, I, I will follow these footprints and catch that naughty boy. And she began to follow the footprints into the next room. When she came to the next room, she opened the door and looked. And there, Krishna had climbed onto a grinding mortar. And he was taking butter from the pots hanging from the rafters and feeding this butter to so many monkeys and crows. Why? Because in a previous incarnation, when he was Lord Ramachandra, he took the help of so many monkeys to build a bridge across the ocean to Lanka. But at that time, he had no opportunity to feed them. So in this incarnation as Krishna, he was oh, feeding all the monkeys. And the crows, they were the descendants of Kakabushandi, also from Ramlila. So Sri Krishna was feeding them, feeding them, and his back was to the door where Madhya Shoda was coming. So he could not see her. So Madhya Shoda, like a cat, walks very softly. A cat can walk on dry leaves without making any sound. So Madhya Shoda, she took a stick in her hand, said, I'll teach him a good lesson. And very, with gentle steps, she began to sneak up on Krishna. So Krishna was feeding the monkeys and feeding the crows. Krishna could not see Madhya Shoda, who was behind him. But the crows and monkeys could see Madhya Shoda. <laughs> so the monkeys and the crows began to run away. And Krishna said, oh, come back. Why? Don't you want butter? But they were all fleeing. Then he realized, of course they want butter. They're going for a reason. Huh? Madhya Shoda must be right behind me. And he looked and saw, just as she was about to catch him. And Krishna, Krishna quickly jumped down from the grinding water and began to run. Krishna was running and Madhya Shoda took the stick and was running behind him. But she's quite uh, healthy as they say in India. And so she could not run so fast. And Krishna was running in a zigzag way, here and there. So Madhya Shoda was trying to catch him. Pantastukoti shatavatsara sampragamyo. In Brahma Samhita it is said that the rishis who can, yogis who can travel at the speed of the wind, travel at the speed of mind, even they cannot uh, touch the tip of the toe of Sri Krishna. But Madhya Shoda was running after him and getting very close, about to catch him and taking her stick. And Sri Krishna said, oh, my, don't, don't hit me, don't hit me. Madhya Shoda said, oh, who has broken, who has broken the vessel? He said, oh mother, you have done it. Hmm? You have very big ankle bells. And when you got up to go and take care of the milk, then you, you hit the pot with your ankle bell, and it was broken. You have done it. Then Madhya Shoda said, I know that you are a thief. You are a chore. Krishna said, there's no chore in my dynasty. Maybe there's a chore in your dynasty. Because Madhya Shoda, in her dynasty, she had one ancestor. His name was Chor Ghosh. That was his name, Chor Ghosh. So Krishna said, in my father's dynasty, no chore. Perhaps in your dynasty, there's a chore. And Krishna was running away. Again, Mother Shoda went to catch him. She said, oh, who was feeding the monkeys? Krishna said, he who creates the monkeys, feeds the monkeys. And Mother Shoda was very, uh, became more and more anxious to catch him because he's being so cheeky. Then suddenly, with her left hand, she caught Krishna's right hand. And with her right hand, she took the stick, and Krishna was running behind her legs, here and there, hmm? going, going behind her. Then she saw that his face was so scared. She thought that, oh, if I will scare him too much, then when he grows up, he may be maladjusted. So, 
I don't want to scare him too much. So seeing the fear in his eyes, she threw away the stick and she said, all right, because uh, you and the grinding mortar together were involved in this crime, I shall punish, you. the grinding mortar was your accomplice. So I'll punish the two of you together. So she took him to the grinding mortar and she took a rope. And it was her intention to tie a rope around his waist and then from behind, like a baby harness, and then tie that to the grinding mortar so that he could only wander within, uh, he could only make a disturbance in a small area. He couldn't go very far. So she took the rope and put it around his waist. But what happened? It was two fingers too short. So she took another rope and tied it together. Again she put it around and it was two fingers too short. So she, her friends came, she told them, bring the rope from your houses. So the Sakis of Madhya Shoda, they bought all the ropes from their houses, all the rope in Praja. And they uh, tied them all together, she tied them together and put it around Krishna's waist. But still it was two fingers too short. Why? One finger represents sadhan. If one wants to attain the uh, Krishna brain, by which Krishna can be controlled. Sri Krishna said, Bhakta Ama Bandiyache, O my devotee, Prema Abhitari, by, binds me with the rope of love. So if one wants to bind Krishna with the rope of love, with the rope of praying, then one must do sadhan, practice. But that's only one finger, still another finger too short. Our sadhan, bhajan, our own practice is never enough. In addition to one sadhan, one will also require kripa, the mercy of Guru and Vaishnavas, the mercy of Sri Krishna. And when one does sadhan and kripa is there, these two mixed together, they will cause the manifestation of prem by which Sri Krishna is bound. So, Madhya Shoda was trying again and again to bind Krishna, but two fingers too short. Then, Drishtva Parishramam Krishna Kripayasit Sobandane. When Sri Krishna saw that his mother was so embarrassed, she was very embarrassed, from early morning to noon, many hours, five hours, Madhya Shoda was trying to bind Sri Krishna. She was sweating, her face was red. She was thinking, you came from my womb. You're my son. You are not more intelligent than me. I can control you. But she still could not bind him. Madhya Shoda was thinking, if I cannot bind my own son, then how will I show my face to my friends? She was very embarrassed. So at once, Yoga Maya came there. And Madhya Shoda took the rope that was binding her hair, and with the one rope from her hair, put it around Krishna's waist and bound him to the grinding water. And now Krishna was mm, receiving the punishment, the discipline of his mother. Then she went away to do her housework. So, Mother Yasoda wanted to bind unlimited Krishna. And he ordered all the gopis, O oh, Sakhi, bring ropes from your houses. All ropes were brought and they were binded together, even to finger places. So what is that he told? One is sadhana. In sadhana, what sadhana? What Rupa Goswami, Sanatana Goswami has did? Sankhya Purvak Nam Gandhi Kalavasami Kritav Nidra Har Vihar Kaj Dishtav Chatant Dinao Chutav Radha Krishna Gudasmade Mudhurimam Den Sambohitav Bande Rupa Sadat Sometimes fasting, sometimes Malli Shana, Sometimes nothing. Whole day night chanting, O Radhe, where you are. Sometimes in Radha Kund, sometimes in Sham Kund, sometimes in Bhandirvan, sometimes here and there. Like mad person. So, how they have done? This is sadhan. Especially what sadhan? First, Rukha Swami has told five uh, ten things. Guru Padasya. 
गुरु सुश्रेवन स्वकर्म शिक्षा फ्रॉम गुरु एंड बी संभन सेवा बी फ्रॉम संभन सेवा वर्ड लाइक बट फ्रेंड्स लाइक पंथु विश्व सर्व गुरु ओबेगी always with him always following his orders this sadhana is shreshta for superior than all kinds of sadhana we should try to do all these things by which guru dev will be happy satisfied and krishna bhakti will come this is sadhana and second is mercy of krishna but sadhan is prominent by seeing his sadhan and his labor in that this will be satisfied and then his yoga maya will will go away and krishna will be find it by that path of darshan so this teaching uh, this sweet path thanks of krishna has so many so many huh teaching so many teachings we should try to learn and by that we should serve krishna like mother jashoda more than that like gopi praja ramanina and more than that rupmanjari and others this is the omen object of our गौ प्रेमानंदे वन कीर्तन सो यू सॉ द स्टोन ऑफ साइड प्रजा प्रजपाल प्रजमोहन वेल हरे कृष्णा some devotee has requested for initiation it will take place day after tomorrow in bodhudev bhajan kuti for male devotee have to save hairs and for female no need but for initiation the new devotee must be certified by a senior devotee so for initiation they can come day after tomorrow 9 am and fire sacrifice will take place in gurudev place sunday 9 am hare krishna hare krishna so you notice there was a major storm outside and um, the tents outside for the prashadam all have been um, destroyed so we have to put them back together tomorrow morning but luckily by shri gurudev's mercy the prashadam tent and prashadam everything is fine so <laughs> So uh now we're going to have prashadam in the hall outside and uh we request everyone please do not bring the plates into the temple room into this room here because uh, the management has not allowed us to eat prashadam in this room so please do that and then tomorrow uh there will be class by shri pati maharaj at 7:30 shri pad madhav maharaj at, at 10 am and by shri pad nimi maharaj at 3 pm those who of you are coming today uh we have registration booth outside please register uh, we like everybody to register if you're not able to register please come and talk to me or sushil prabhu and we will try to figure something out um and also we need helpers in the kitchen in the morning and in the afternoon for cutting so you can come 9 o'clock or 1 o'clock for for helping thank you hari krishna we would like everybody to be very careful walking on the lobby it is a little bit wet so we have tried to wipe it up but be very careful one small girl has already fallen just stick again i would like to request the devotees to the devotees who are managing here are very humble and shy and they do the level best but they need help especially for preparing lunch and dinner if you all who are here can volunteer 
you can raise your hand who can help with the cutting of vegetables starting at 9 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And in the afternoon at 2 o'clock, who can help? And cleaning? Every night after all have taken dinner, then help is needed for cleaning. Who can help with that? More hands? Cleaning. Brahmacharis can help? Not many. Yeah. We want to see more hands. Viva, give me that. Can she? Can she also? Push the Tekani approve. Prabhu also. So you can all contact if you need some help with transportation. Contact Subal Prabhu. He can help with bringing you here in time at 9 o'clock. If you start at 9 or 2 o'clock, everyone will be able to attend Sri Guru Dev's Hare Kata very easily in the evening. Hare Krishna, thank you for your cooperation. Pradhi Mohan, Krita. Krishna Govinda Govinda Gopala Krishna Govinda Govinda Krishna Govinda Govinda Gopala Krishna Govinda Govinda Magana Chudai Lo